what's going on people today we are getting into something a little different how to create money in creative ways one of the things that i wanted to expound on and one of the things i wanted to talk to was to make it in the future you will have to be creative it's not going to be just something I, I think it's always been that way it's just what we've had such largesse that people were able to get by but you're going to really have to be creative now the good thing is it's not going to be that hard the hard part is you're going to have to go back to the way you were when you were a kid all kids are naturally creative every last one of them and as we become older, as we become more mature, a lot of that stuff leaves us. It just goes the way of the dodo bird. But uh, there's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to go into. So be sure to hit the super chat. Be sure to get on to, well, let me just go ahead and put this here. I think I can put it here. Cool. We, we've got some stuff that I'm going to get into later that is going down. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. So let's see if people can figure this out. Today is Wednesday. We've got some uh, good stuff that's going down. All right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, I'm gonna teach you how to solve a problem. I know, it's the craziest thing, right? So let's go over here, let's bring this up. And booyah. All right. This is how I solve problems. First thing that I do is I write what I mean this this is it. This is the first thing I do. And the second thing I do, what is the desired outcome? So you gotta be clear on what the problem is and you have to be really clear on what do you want. Now this is for business, dating, anything. And most people don't do this. Though, now, I'm going to explain this, like what is the problem must be written down. What is the desired outcome must be written down. If you don't write these things down, then they're up in your head and you'll you'll say i know what i want i know where i want to go but when you go what is the problem and you write it down if you struggle to write it down and you struggle to come up with an outcome that's not the problem so this simple exercise can save you a lot of chasing your tail all right so now we know what the problem is. Let's say, all right, let, let's, let's go with a common one here. How All right, that's why everyone's here. This is the biggest problem. Now the first thing you have to do is look at your current way of making money and figure out what is wrong with it. If it's a scaling problem, it's like, okay, say you're a carpenter, right? Uh, we'll go Jamal, the handyman. And Jamal makes 50K a year. Jamal gets all his business word of mouth 
Okay, so this is the problem. So Jamal needs to advertise. But Jamal doesn't know how to advertise. So he's making 50K a year. He does a good job. So advertise. But where? So that, that's the problem. It's like, okay, Jamal knows he needs to advertise, right? But he don't know where to advertise. So at this point, Jamal starts experimenting. And Jamal fails. Jamal tries Craigslist. Jamal does next door. Jamal does Facebook. And it is very hit or miss. Sometimes Craigslist works, sometimes it doesn't. So Jamal still has this problem of how do I make more money? He's advertising, but it's not working. He's experimenting, but it's not working. Now I'm going to tell you Jamal's problem isn't making more money Jamal's problem is and this is everyone's problem a lack of systems and Jamal needs a system to learn how to advertise see this is the thing and this is where many many people go wrong uh, they're really good at what they do they're great at it. And they think because they're good in that one area that that's going to matriculate to other areas. And this usually doesn't. So first thing Jamal needs to do is, one, read a book. I say books on advertising. But m usually what people do is go straight to advertising. But they have no systems, no process, no framework, no lingo, nothing. They just throw up an ad and it didn't work. They advertise the stuff. It don't work, man. It don't work. All right. So he should read books to pick a system he likes. Three, test but test small. So instead of going out and doing next door, Craigslist, Facebook, he would read a book first, pick a system out of the book he likes, then he begins testing. And only once these tests are successful, does he add money or more money. That's it. Like if, if you're putting out some copy and it's not converting and then you like have the wild ideal that I'm going to throw some money on it, then it's going to not convert at a larger level. If it doesn't convert small, it's not going to convert large. And then once Jamal has figured out some stuff, then he spends more. All right. So what does, uh, testing look like testing he test the headline test the first sentence test the second sentence <laughs> Yes, this is very time consuming. But how many of you are carpenters out there? And test the third. Essentially, you're going to test everything. So you go and how does one test? You run two to five ads at the same time. So you're going to figure out very quickly if this is working 
or it's not working. Then that, okay, that converts. Then you're going to start tweaking the first sentence. And then once that starts to get more responses, then you're going to start tweaking this sentence. Now, if your responses goes down, then you know that this is the reason they went down. So you get rid of that and you go back to what you were doing and the responses go up. This is how you solve problems. But most people go straight to, I have this need, but I want to solve this problem. And they go using the knowledge that they already have without realizing they need more knowledge. And this is why many people can't make money online because I was working with someone recently who's using Craigslist, not using Facebook, not using YouTube. I'm not going to tell you what they do, but we went together because they reached out to me and they were like, how much is going to, you going to charge me to help me with this? And I gave them a number and they paid me. So we got into it. We went through the same Craigslist protocols that I have been talking about for years. And he made what he paid me back in three days. He's been doing Craigslist for years, but he has not been doing Craigslist correctly for years. And just to make that, and really, it wasn't just a few changes. It was a lot of changes. But now he is making almost three times per month what he used to make just simply from Craigslist. So what I'm saying is uh, many people are going for the newfangled thing without really looking at what they're doing from a systematic testing standpoint because Craigslist still works because, you know, I was thinking about you have to pay for ads, which I actually think is great. And I said this before, if you pay for ads, that's going to move, remove all the riffraff from Craigslist. You have people who are hesitant to spend a hundred dollars that that hundred dollars spent will make them a thousand. They are hesitant and they will not do it because they're used to getting the free for free, the low, low Craigslist without spending any money. It has become a habit. And now he's just killing it. So that's one of the things. And creativity is problem solving. Many people think creativity is creating this big and beautiful work of art or taking this stunning photo. Have you noticed that the people who have these very good creative skills are often broke? They know how to create a piece of art. They know how to take a perfect photograph. They don't know how to make any money because they're creative, but they're not problem solvers. So if you take that creativity and then you put it into a good problem solving matrix, you can make a lot of money. You can make a ton of money. <laughs> so you've got all of this stuff that's going on. Now, how many of you have a problem right now? We're going to make this one interactive and I, uh, I want some super chats on this. Who has an advertising problem? Uh, Let's say advertising, advertising, marketing. Who has that problem? Uh, we're going to super chat that for 10 bucks and we're going to work it out here on the board. So while whoever is getting that together, let me see, because I know a lot of y'all like, he don't do these live streams every day. Nope, I don't really have time. Anthony, oh, you're on the email list. Yep, but it's going to be totally different. I've had roughly seven, eight months to think about it. And I'm like, I'm not going to do what I did last year. Joe Ray still in time. <laughs> oh, what did I post just today? I don't, did I post here yesterday? I'm not sure. What's up, Diana? Pamela C, I need more than ever. My money is getting funny. and I need to learn how to make stuff laughing at me. <laughs> What's up, Richard Mayfield, Al Gordon? What's up, Ray, Charlene? Thank you, Key. What's up, Rugged Collars, 285 Property? 
What's up, JP? Well, you got you can't just brainstorm. I'm gonna tell you. Get a pen, get some paper, and work it out like that. I'm telling you, it's gonna help you out so much. All right. To 285 property, Jamal should advertise next door on both sides and cross the street of his current job sites. Oh, we got into all that. Uh, he didn't even have one of those signs. And he was just like, because the signs were 350 bucks to make up these signs because they had a minimum order. He placed his first sign. That first sign got him a job that paid for all of those signs and gave him a steal of profit. He was just like blown away. One of the things that many of you hustlers, you've got the basic hustling skills down. You, you put you in front of a customer, you do your thing, you sprinkle your hustle dust, but you don't know how to do systems and you don't know how to, um, it, this is kind of funny because the video I did on disruptive mail yesterday talking about pump and dump, it's the same thing. You get a customer, you do the work, then you have to start all over from scratch. One of the reasons that the rich keep getting richer is they don't start from scratch. They leverage the money that granddad ma made, and then they add some money onto it. Then their kids leverage that money, and they just keep stacking and stacking because they're not starting from scratch. Many of my hustlers out here, many of you, are consistently starting from scratch. That's why you're frustrated and as Charlene says, that's why your money is, uh, no, Pamela, that's why your money's funny. Uh, oh, uh, we got Cody with a recommendation. There's a wonderful book called Why You Suck at Sales and How to Get Better at It. It's a fabulous book. SB, need a new job. Gunja, yeah, Craigslist has shut that down. It's just, you, you got to have a system because what, what did I figured it out for him was we looked at the posting frequency. And if there was a drop off in posting frequency, there was a drop off in sales. So that's how we did it. But yeah, they suck with that. Uh, Key, I have a phone reselling business profits are good. Yeah, see, that's dependent on, like, the phone game is very tricky and it's seasonal because every year, Samsung, Apple drop new phones, and then the price of the phones you have drop like 100 to 150 bucks just like that. So that's another problem with that game. All right. Uh, oh, Craigslist is still a bomb. Mo Grizzly. Light in the dark. Oh man, they got rid of that years ago. <laughs> you guilty, Charlton? Thanks for the fifty dollars super chat. You live for the live stream? Awesome deal. Awesome, Charlton. Yeah, been the bartender customer retention, Nat. Oh, man, YouTube. Uh, if you don't know, if you're not part of digital money, you should be. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm slow. I'm doing these roll up very slowly. But digital money is about making money on YouTube and YouTube only. Uh, one of the things I did during the video thing was I was like, what do I, you know, problem solve. I went through this whole problem. So, okay, what do I know? I know how to make money on YouTube. I know how to make money with YouTube. I don't know how to make money on Facebook. Well, I could, but, you know, my strength is making money on YouTube. What's my record? I've been making money on YouTube since 2009 before they had AdSense. I want you to think about that. So, and this is kind of one of the things that I do to calm myself down because sometimes I get a little hyped. Sometimes I get a little crazy, but. What I do is I write this stuff down. I have my jazz music going on and I come up 
with solutions that make sense versus solutions that look good. What's up, Charlton? I, I know. I, that's why I said fit Super Chat. I appreciate it. Because the folks who are trying to make some money are listening. Anthony Johnson, how do you feel about buying a wholesale pallet of electronics, sell them online? How do you feel about that sourcing tactic? Uh, go to Resale Rabbit. Uh, he's a reseller, and he does live streams on that stuff. Uh, one of the things I'm doing is I'm staying in my lane. I'm not going to say anything bad about it. I'm not going to say anything good about it. It's something that I've only done a handful of times and I just, and I made money, but I didn't like it because I made more money with the stuff out the storage unit. So I was like, well, that's gone. Pretty much. Light in the dark, broken phones are where the real money is because people see less value and they broke a shit. Goes if anything you can part out. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I used to sell broke computers on eBay. I remember I bought this unit and it had like about 50 to 70 broken computers. The guy was a tech. I just started putting that stuff up on eBay for 99 cents. No one bought the unit. I got the unit for free. For free. Those suckers were selling for 25, 30, 40, because if you need a screen and they don't make no more screens, you can only get it from a broken computer. If you need key, oh, keys. Here's a hot resale tip for you. Computer keys sell like crack, or they used to. What's up, King Money? <laughs> resale Rabbit is having a good year. Um, Resell Rabbit is scaled. Notice that he is out of his house. And look what happened. So, because that just popped up. And I know why it popped up because on this channel. All right, so anyone got any problems to solve? Because the thing is, you, you know, and Charlton set the bar. You got to do $50. What's up, Charles? Now, while we're trying to figure out some uh, stuff here I'm going to recommend some books do, 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 do. So let's see alright make sure that we still have sound and we do so we're going to go to the automatic customer so this is a good book to get Automatic customer. So I'm going to leave that up there. Then uh, this is another classic. You can go ahead and get this one. Rework. Automatic customer. Rework. You can go ahead and get this one. <laughs> I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling it was going to do that. Uh, here's another. Oh. This is a good one. And let's see. Ask. All right. So if you are just getting in the game. Uh, get ask first. Get rework second. Get persuasion third. And you actually need to have a business. You need to be working on something. Before you get the automatic customer. You, you're going to love that book. You, you're definitely going to love that book. So that's one. That's four recommendations. Let's see what we got going on in the chat room. Uh, crack screens. Yep, let's see. I think broken computer part on uh, broken computer and stuff is going to increase because they're just not making a lot of stuff anymore. 
Richard Mayfield, you're going for that quick money, wholesaling. What's up, Von B? Did you get into the distra, um did you get into talk dirty to me, Von B? There there's like more stuff there. And just to be correct, the course ain't even close to done. Just letting you know that. Archangel. Rake and profit guide at the landing. What do you mean, Diana? Charlton, I was always the grading curve wrecker. So was I. Light in the dark. Do you use an accounting solution that can populate data from your different income streams? I can do that in my head. I don't really need an accounting method to do that. What's up, hard breakdown? Uh, yeah, wrecking profit was. Von B, do you miss winning any of Gary V's books? Actually, no. I've never read any of Gary V's books. I can't say anything positive nor bad about them. <laughs> I didn't really shit on you. I just told you the truth because, like, one of the things I did was it ain't re it ain't done. Um. Uh, Talk dirty to me. Here, here's where I am taking my time. Because you notice I've like slowed way down. And once again, there's what works for me. That's good. Then there is taking it and putting it into a written video form. That's another element. And then putting it in a written video form that works for more people. That is very time consuming. So instead of just rushing to get it done to say I got it done, I'm going to do it right. Because the way that I'm building it, this course will work for people for years because it's not some system that's predicated on some current tactic. This is what I've seen a lot of my folks with the Facebook advertising. Like, remember all those people who were tooting those sell T-shirts to branded markets, targeted markets? And how they don't talk about that anymore because they've prostituted that whole tactic out. Uh, talk dirty to me is a more organically, it stems from you, where you are, what you're doing with the girl versus some grand scheme. And that's why it's taking so long to build out. And that's why I was like, hey, it's going to be three to four weeks. It actually turned out to be more. But I've got enough good stuff in there to get people started. After the stream, I'm going to go back and work on that some more. Yeah, the thing is with marketing, uh, Gancha, is it's thankless. You have to consistently do it. Uh, one of the things, like I can tell you on YouTube, when I stop making offers, my money goes down. Uh, because I've been focusing on these courses. And this morning, I went ahead and I redid Hustlers Kung Fu. I took a lot of stuff off. I'm cleaning up the site. I'm going to rebrand the site. And it's just... One day at a time, you just do as many things as you can and then wake up the next day and do it again. It was hilarious, but all my guys from college knew how I did with chicks in Central Florida. You could be a natural Mac. Who knows? But most men are not. You made some money? <laughs> Oh, Rake and Pro. I didn't know that. I didn't know that because I don't really watch the resale videos. It just popped up one day. Oh, okay. Uh, Bobby Yek. Anything is still a real thing. And this is something I want you guys to understand. It's not, quote, the thing. It's not affiliate marketing. It's not writing. It's not YouTube. It's not Facebook. It's not Shopify. It is the person who is behind the tool. Right now, there's people. Kylie Jenner, a hundred hundred million dollars from Shopify. I mean, she leveraged the fame of her, you know, her sister. She leveraged the fame of the name, but still, to be 21 years old and probably she's taken out 67 million dollars. And she's 21. You know how much money this girl's going to make? Because when you get that kind of money, 
then you you start thinking much much bigger and it should start off with a lip kit uh let's see light in the dark remember the to the strategic times that you post on craigslist so the posts come at the top of the list during peak shopping times which is lunch a lot of people are searching for stuff at lunch a lot of people are searching for stuff at morning and a lot of people are searching for stuff not at five o'clock but 9 p.m i don't know what's up with that but that's what they do when i joined uh, one of your groups folks were targeting me with hustle t-shirts that that's just just wow <laughs> Galaxy Note 3? Wow. <laughs> Your groceries are mailed. The original lady pill. Another thing you guys might look into is learning to repair cell phones. I have dropped my phone in water, took it to the dude in the mall and got it fixed for 60 rather than spending 300 on a new phone. I think that is a low-grade hustle. Because, like, the guy you took it to in the mall, and I'm quite sure he had a kiosk. They hit them over the head hard. He may have to work half the month just to pay his rent. And then the other half of the month is his money. I don't know. But, see, whoa, that was almost ugly. Okay. Uh, Pamela, see, people are going crazy over Kylie. They're saying she really didn't work for it and wouldn't have become rich if it weren't for her family. Um, I absolutely agree with that. She leveraged the name. But it's like to accuse her of doing something like that, it's like accusing the frog for being a frog. She was born Kylie Jenner. It's her birthright. She got the Jenner name. She got the Kardashian name. I mean, she worked it. I ain't mad at her. Uh, I would disagree that she, uh, I think she worked very hard. <laughs> Anyone that has put out a makeup product and the testing and stuff, that shit ain't easy. So, uh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, that that's what it is. It's right before bed. You know, for a long time, people used to buy my courses in the middle of the night. It was the weirdest thing. Yeah, I thought that was hilarious, Richard. <laughs> yes, Jamal got his money right. He got more than his money right. Uh, Jamal, I can tell you this. Jamal's doing about 18 grand a month, and he was doing four. So, yeah, part of the problem is we have people who are who don't have a business, but they want a business and they want to start not here. They want to start here. And here is, you know, here is they ain't no money. They ain't no company. There ain't no brand. It's just you and your hustle. And they want to start here with an established company and brand and some money. That's where they want to start. And that that's just you wasting time because I've been watching some podcasts and things I've been saying for years. Um, I will say if you're an exceptional person, you could probably do it in one and a half to two years. Uh, exceptional would be Casey Neistat. Exceptional would be this cat. Um, he started this podcast less than a year ago. He's at a hundred and fifty thousand uh, is. He's got a website. He's getting 100K hits on a month that he started this year. He's just collecting email addresses right now. When he launches his product, he's going to make seven figures. So seven figures in two years from nothing. Guarantee it. Uh, wow, Flo, I don't know anything about trading stock.
Von B, GC people be stressing, and you hit that primitive nerve with your stuff. I know I've been one of those people, but I started my hustle. Well, this, I want y'all guys to be real clear. A recession's coming. I was having it with this conversation with a real estate agent yesterday, and he's like, recession may or may not come. It's coming. It's already here. And I looked at some numbers. Do you know in 2007 and 8, the United States economy was the number one in the world, number, number one economy in the world? And we still went into a recession. Right now, we're the number one economy in the world. Uh, and also, there's just so many things that just says it to me. And let's say I'm wrong. Um, I have no debt. I got money in the bank. I got good credit. I, I don't know of the time that that's a bad place to be. I don't know about that. I think Kylie has a daughter. All those Kardashian chicks get pregnant and have kids. All right, Bobby, I got to get out of retail. Yeah, retail is, it's, it's not going to completely disappear, but it will be, it will shrink. Erica Williams. Oh, well, a minute. Let's see. Hold on. Light in the dark. Thanks for the $5 super chat. Erica Williams. Yes, I know it's folks wanting age corporation with credit card funding off the back. I go, bro, come on now. There's no learning your craft before you get public. I, and this is something else, too. It used to be with these age corporations, you could probably still keep the vendor lines, but American Express, Chase Inc., they're going to make you requalify. They're not going to like, unless the original signer who opened up those cards stays on to the company and then they issue you one, yeah, that'll work. But the minute they're like, hey, I no longer own this company, American Express, Chase, they're canceling those cards for the new owners. They're getting rid of that stuff. Uh, the guy went to sells phone accessories primarily and does repair in addition to that. Okay. It's still a hard, hard market. Wow, for the cost of living in Canada? I thought Canada was cheap. Rob Carter, the child support hustle. <laughs> uh, Bobby, we had 23 layoffs this year. Walmart. What's up, Raquel? Regardless, I make my money locally in mainstream uh, sites, Etsy, but for the for the life, can I drive to my Shopify? Testing and testing, nothing on my Shopify. Uh, about to chop out <laughs> Shopify after four years. Etsy, this is what I think is the, the situation with you. Etsy customers don't like to leave Etsy. Amazon customers don't like to leave Amazon and eBay customers unless they can get now eBay customers ain't loyal to nobody. If you can say like you come to my site, you can get it for 20 bucks cheaper. Yeah, they'll hop on that all day. Amazon people, not so much. And Etsy, um, they're real loyal to that site. So what you would have to do is you have to create a show. And that's some of them get into with uh, digital money. But you're going to have to create a show, a podcast, or something. And this is another issue to making money online. You're going to have to overwork, like way overwork, to make the money in the beginning. And then at some point, it's going to switch. And I'll give you an example. I started this channel in 2009. I worked 8, 12 hours a day for five years. About five months before I started making any money. I wasn't receiving the check, but fortunately I was in a situation where I can work and not have to worry about money. That's going to become the norm. Like the guy that I'm tracking, he, I mean, his channel, I mean, you can go, when you go to the beginning of it, his videos are getting like 100, 200 views. Now they're getting like 45. He put up a video two weeks ago. It's getting like, it's almost got 300,000 views. But he's he has a podcast and he's, He's built two things at the same time, which was really smart, but he's not making any money from it. And he's almost in his second year of this. Well, yeah, yeah, he'll be into his second. He's going into his second year.
Oh yeah, there's here's the thing that there, this this is there's what's called information asymmetry. And what this means is folks like you don't know that what a corporate ent what a corporate credit card company is going to do. So someone can sell you an aged corporation, right? And they and I mean they're going to hit you over the head hard for that maybe 5 to 30, 50, 60k. Then you get in there after the money's changed hands, then the bank's like, you know, say, where's my credit card? And they're like, um, is the original applicant still a member of the company? Mm-mm. Well, snip, snip. Bobby, yep, keep testing Shopify, run Facebook ads. Part of that is once you get on these platforms, and this is something that I have just come to know, Amazon is addictive for the client and it's addictive for the customer. If you're doing Etsy, it's almost like you have to set up another website and rebrand yourself and just start from scratch. It is very hard to get people off of Amazon and Etsy into your website. Not impossible, but it's hard. Uh, Von B, what comes first, the channel or the product? Right now I'm dealing with a niche, but I haven't put out any products. I'm just working on my service. You should focus on the audience, not the channel, not the product, but the audience. Who are you talking to and giving them a reason to buy? That should have been a super chat. That was good right there. That was real good. That's what comes first, the audience. Okay, here's what I'm doing. Uh, you can see what I did. I started Disruptive Mail February. So really March, April, May, June. So four months of real, I didn't have it. Well, I couldn't have any ads on there. I didn't even have a bumper. I had no trip. I had nothing. It was just straight content, straight content, straight content. And then once I got a base, then I started to add that stuff. So you got to work on the audience first. And those first 100 videos, they're not monetized, nor will they ever be monetized. And one of the things that I've, I see is like this morning, I got someone that commented on one of those videos from four months ago. And the reason is YouTube is still recommending those videos. They're recommending all of those videos on that channel. That channel has more views than this channel. And I only have 3,700 subscribers. I'm going to do policy and conduct it. <clears throat> and I'm going to do policy and conduct that way. I'm going to do disruptive money that way. Disruptive money, I'm, I'm going to monetize that much faster. I can get away with that one on that one. And then I'm going to do digital money that way. Except digital money, I'll probably monetize that a little faster too. Because I, I've got those, I got that hustle dust. But you got to build that audience first. Just, uh, let's see. Etsy shoppers like boutique stores and products. I have seen some stuff on Etsy I've never seen anywhere else. All right, Von B, appreciate it. Just shady. Should I start with a high ticket item for my reselling or stay on the, well, what are you just shady? What are you, what are you, what are you selling? And 300 bucks isn't high ticket. High ticket is thousand two thousand three thousand four hundred you mean a higher price you know that's this let's say let's call it this way higher average ticket price that's not that's not high ticket richard mayfield all right appreciate that all right so you got to really get in, and that's why I said creative ways to make more money. The process is problem solving and figuring out, because this is the, you don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be Einstein. You just have to kind of change how you think. Because if you just take a, few, like, all right. Uh, one of the things that I did, I got burned out on consulting last year. It was really, really hard on me. 
and it took me six months. Well, not even six months. I let it percolate, but I did not really start thinking about consulting again real hard until last month when I got that Craigslist person. And I was like, okay, how am I going to do this differently? How can I serve more people but serve them better? And I just went through that process, and we will work on it. Uh, YouTube is getting harder. YouTube is definitely getting harder. In my estimation, YouTube is the hardest social media platform to crack, which is great because it's going to keep a lot of the riffraff out. Oh, it's too hard. Oh, I got to make videos. What do you mean? I got to make videos for six months a year before I get any money? Eh, I ain't messing with that. Awesome. You, you Great. Cool. Uh, thank you. Uh, because with YouTube, is, and, you know, what's going to happen is... That threshold that YouTube put out, they're going to raise it at some point. And that's why I'm like, if you want to do YouTube, you need to start your channel now. Get that bad boy going. I don't care if you just post once a month. You need to get it going. <laughs> you need to get it going. So that's the deal. All right. Um, let's get into this right now. Because I almost forgot. Hold on a second. Is this it? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to explain this real quick. There we go. We're going to make it big because it's all in the center of the page anyway. So this kind of goes into what I was talking about. All right. All right. So this is disruptive money consulting services. I'm going to start one on one consulting services again. These services are designed for business owners or people who make over 90K a year. I'm going to explain why I got it like that. There are a lot of you guys who are working construction, retail. You have the ambition, you have the want, you just don't have the cash. Now, what I have learned from when I gave all those courses away that even if I gave top notch information for free, that people still weren't going to act on it. They just weren't because they had no skin in the game. So because you, you will see the prices in a minute. Uh, it's going to be structured. It's going to have a whole different process. And we're, everything that I do is we're going to be going off of this first mandate. The first mandate is every man must have his own business or a seriously strong side hustle. Minimum four figures per month. Without economics, you have no voice. Earning money outside of a job is not a nice to have thing. It is a primary imperative for you to be and act like a man you were meant to be. The unemployment rate of men is beginning to climb. Many traditional male jobs are gone and they're not coming back. All right, so the services offered, disruptive estate planning, steps you need to take now. This is for anybody, disruptive online business development, anybody, online marketing with video, disruptive sales and marketing processes, disruptive legal business structure, disruptive game, you know what it is, plus enhanced business services. Oh, that may or not, it probably won't be because, I, oh, I got someone's working on the disruptive male t-shirt. I should have something this week. Uh, fees will be three thousand to fifty thousand per month, depending on services and needs. Now, I feel I could be wrong, but I feel most people are going to be here. So, what it's going to be is disruptive estate planning, disruptive online. You know, you could pick any three out of six. So, if you want to do these three or these three or mix and match, whatever, and that's going to be three thousand a month um, at the twenty-five thousand level. You get everything plus sub ad campaigns, branding, market research. Then we go to the $50,000 level and get the market research, hiring, training, website development, YouTube channel development, product development and deployment, copywriting. And we'll get on right down here, you know, because there's, there's, there's a five stage process that we're going to go through. And I'm only going to do 15 to 20 people per term. This is going to start August. 
So, I'll, you know, if someone drops out something, I can say, okay, I have room. And this is what this list is for, disruptive money consulting email list. If you don't have the money, but you feel you have the money at some point in the future, just get on that list. And after I go through the first term, I was like, hey, okay, we finished up with some people. There is a spot here. You can jump in and to kick this thing off. Um, this starts the second week of August after the 8th to receive first priority. And what this means is everyone that gets this promo will be the first people with the consulting uh, use the promo code upgrade. Everyone that buys this package, will get a free month out the three month commitment. This applies to all tiers. So you go in and you get the first tier instead of paying $9,000, you will pay six because you will get the last month for free. And I'm doing that as a opening gambit. And that's pretty much it. So whether you have the money or not, I urge you to get on the list because you never know. <laughs> you really never know. And it's going to be really different because I never really thought of the game aspect. That was just something I did for me. But the more I talk about it on that channel, the more I realize it's like, oh, this could be interesting. Because uh, like the video I put up, you know, Pump and Dump. I believe in having girlfriends. I believe in, you know, there are some women that, yeah, you can get married to. And a lot of other people don't seem to believe in that. It's just pump and dump. And this is, I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to just say this. We all going to get old. How long you think you can pump and dump? And also, this is something else, and I want you guys to hear me. If you pump and dump for five or 10 years straight, it's going to be very hard for you as a man to have a relationship. <laughs> it's going to be very, very hard. I'm just saying that. But that's going to be the consultant services. Uh, probably we'll put up a website. I'm probably going to run it off of disruptive mail. But that's how you can get in. And like I said, I already got probably one person who's going to start in August. So we will see. So we'll keep it at like. 15 to 20. I may do 20 the first time just to see how it goes. And that would be it. So once it's closed, then uh, I'm going to, I have to just take the prices and the pricing buttons off. And it's like, hey, we're closed for now. Or maybe start a wait list or something. I don't know. But we'll when we get there, that's when we'll address that. Uh, let's see. YouTube is hard, but if you have high, content, high quality content, you can win. Pretty much. Cam, Cam, that's right. Get the results, then sell the transformation. Only if you can actually get the wins for your audience. Otherwise, it appears to be a scam. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, when we start talking process uh, today, that's what I did today. That's the part of the process. Thanks, Wow Flo Wolf Flow. What's up, Jory? Thanks for the $5 super chat. Douglas Jones, uh, the game is to be sold, not told. <laughs> That's real simple, man. What's up, Pamela? Sure thing, Rudy Dog. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is what's going to happen today. Um, it's what, 1255. So I'm going to go work on talk dirty to me. And then I'm this is I'm going to try this. Once again, this is summer programming. I put out a kind of serious video on disruptive mail yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a story. I'm going to start doing the stories at night. Um, there's one that I've been meaning to do. I just haven't gotten around to it. But I'm going to go ahead and do that one tonight. And it's going to be hilarious. So in the morning one day, they'll be halfway serious. And then in the evening, you call it disruptive mail after dark, whatever. Because I can get away with a lot. I've tested this so far so good. 
and uh, we'll do that. So that's going to be happening on Disruptive Mail tonight. And then I'm going to be working on Talk Dirty to Me the rest of the day. Also, for those of you who bought How to Get a Big Dick, there's information there. I dropped that yesterday. I will be dropping more information with that. So, yeah, that's where we are. So, uh, once again, y'all can super chat. And if you're interested in the consulting, go ahead, reserve those first spots. Because the, the, me getting on the phone with you is not going to happen in August. Because I finally have figured out a way how to do all of this stuff. And it's taken me months. And that's something I should talk about. If you're going to try to do something you've never done before, you got to train for it. You really do. Oh, there will be political video. Oh, yeah. I can't let this opportunity of Donald being a bitch go by. He was submissive to Putin. I I'm sorry. He's got Putin got some on him or Donald Trump is Manchurian candidate 2.0. There's something going on, and anyone who isn't even seeing that, they don't want to see it. Because uh, CNN and some other channels went around and talked to a bunch of Trump voters, and half of them are disgusted, and they said, he run again? I'm not voting for him. Half. So if he survives this Mulder thing, which I don't think he will, he ain't, he ain't, he's not even reelected. He just ain't. So thanks for the $2, Erica. Rolo Beats, I have YouTube Premium. You've been in my ear all summer. Poon got the P tape. <laughs> all right. I'm about to bounce. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with some people you feel who need it. And I will talk to you later.